My story didn't start with the technology. My story started in California with an idea. So now it was time to really run. So I was running this road and I'd reached a distance of 10 miles. 10 miles was 10 times further than that one mile on the football pitch. And that 10 times perhaps got stuck in my head a little bit too much because I went home and I entered a 100 mile race. I now had six months, in fact, slightly less than six months to train to run 100 miles. To slightly make it more complicated, I made this decision the week my son was born, the week I started university. So I figured if I can do it while I'm doing all this, I'll be a true athlete. So six weeks later, I turned up to the race in the Cotswolds. And for people who've been listening quite closely, I trained in a pancake flat airport. I went to run in the Cotswolds. For people not in England, that, that's really hilly. I didn't know that. I couldn't see the elevation map when I entered the race. <laughs> I assumed it was flat, just like home. So I began the race. Everyone kept telling me the hills would end. Never truly believed them. I got to around 50 miles, and I broke down. The pain was incredible. The, uh, the emotional fatigue was insane. I was, again, I found myself crying. So I sat down and I thought to myself, can I quit? Can I just stop now? I've got to live with this forever. I would have to live with the thought of quitting again. And I told myself I couldn't do that. I told myself the only way I could stop was through failure. And the only way to fail is if you can't stand. So I stood back up and I carried on running. 33 miles later, I could no longer stand and I was removed from the race. But in Around six months, I'd gone for nothing, not even been able to run alone, to running 83 miles in an incredibly hilly destination. <laughs> but there was only one marathon I ever wanted to run, and that was New York. This year, I was fortunate enough to gain entry to New York. And New York is tantalizingly close to Boston. Boston is the home of Runkeeper that the made this possible. If it wasn't for their app, I, I would never have begun to run. And the one thing that's on the radar for the next 12 to 18 months is to compete solo. While I've trained solo, I've never competed solo. And I feel there is a place on Earth that a blind man can run alone, and that place is the desert.